नमस्कार फिर पैसा बोलता है मैं आपका स्वागत है मैं आनंद श्रीनिवासन टूडे आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट द केस ऑफ प्रोमोटर सेलिंग आउट कंपनीज देर आर केसेस थ्री केसेस दट है सोल्ड आउट कम्प्लीटली दिस वॉज एक्सपेक्टेड फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम नाउ we are told that sipla is trying its best to get out the promoters of sipla who have run this company for nearly 100 years are trying to leave they are trying to sell their 33% stake and uh, a lot of permutations and combinations are being worked out by which sipla can be bought out two main suitors are torrent pharma and dr reddy dr reddy has not been very serious but there has been a lot of news about torrent trying to buy this stake now one of india's best known luggage brand VIP which has 2 3 sub brands also which whose prices are extremely high levels is also exiting and has hired Increed as an investment advisor to exit what does this say how is it related to John Templeton one of the greatest market pickers and why are promoters exiting like this to discuss that with me is my brother Vinod Srinivasan and this time I won't talk too much let's have a conversation with him about this for a change you know that's up to you <laughs> i wish it was that simple my insights are not as deep and as wide as anand's are mine are very shallow i only happen to touch the surface compared to what anand does though he is very generous in passing on the baton like this trust me <laughs> i'm not going to be diving as deep as anand is basic thing which i when i was researching for this video when we were talking about vip was i was seeing why suddenly vip has this interest to sell because i remember in the beginning of the year reading an article somewhere i forget exactly where who spoke about how vip is going through a resurgence and it's turning around the companies after the covid and pandemic downturn where everyone had stay at home happening and not many people were buying luggage so there's no need to have suitcases it has a huge slump in sales they had a lot of issues in logistics and supply chain issues but they had overcome all this and they had a turn around and there was a revenge tourism happening with the, on the back of the revenge tourism and the tailwind which was coming through vip was surging ahead again and uh, safari which is the second largest uh, brand sub brand i mean no brand known in india for suitcases was still struggling to catch up to vip and vip was still the market leader though the article is talking about the long history of vip and even how the guy who started the whole thing felt uh, sorry about the vip brand saying that even he doesn't feel the vip brand is such a great brand that people in the youth don't uh, use vip and how the, he's been trying to bring the brand back to life which was a couple of years ago by signing on bollywood stars and uh, brand ambassadors to revive the brand and bring a more youthful feel to the brand and they launched a lot of sub brands trying to do ladies handbag which didn't really pan out very well but now suddenly if things were so good in january come now in september why suddenly the family wants to exit the business was a curious case of wonder i was also thinking most promoters would not want to exit their business especially if they spend so much of time and effort and the families have also spent so much of time and effort and they've so invested in this why would they it's a strange behavior pattern to see and not only in vip we are seeing this we are seeing in sipla we are seeing in cupid and across the board in even in a lot of american companies small companies we are seeing this where suddenly the promoters in the middle of a very good market a bull market as they say things are looking great and everyone says in the news media things are great and the recession seems to be in a mess and things are soft landing if everything is so hunky dory why are these guys suddenly exiting their businesses which they worked so hard and i mean holding on to for generations and years and years so it was something curious which i brought to anand at that point in time anand laughed at me and said don't remember john templeton this is all what he has said already before at this point of time i thought i'll let anand explain this whole john templeton part of the story to you see the market moves in cycles there is a cycle in which there is a maximum time of pessimism where nobody wants to buy anything then the market moves through from opt some there is some optimism some people start buying then it goes into a bull market where a lot of people buy and then there is a final time when there is an extreme bull run when everybody wants to buy everything and the market goes out of whack vip is today at current prices is trading 58 times earnings the luggage industry in india is not growing at 30% a year second the promoters own 50% of the stake third what they see is they will get nearly a billion dollars in valuation about 9000 crores so if they pay back it 9000 crores they can invest in other businesses or they can basically have a good time after they sell cash in hand is always better than 
cash is king cash is king and they also know that there is after this there is only one way the market is going and that is going down and the result is not as these kids of today see that tomorrow it just falls okay. today money is easier and therefore you have private equity guys willing to buy them out at these prices they can then feel that they turn around the company and they can relaunch it and at a higher price so private equity investors may be interested in buying this company but the problem in private equity investing is they were raising money from wealthy individuals who are getting money from banks at very low rates now banks are not able to lend at low rates <coughs> money is not cheap so even the vip promoters will find it difficult to exit like sipla promoters are finding it extremely difficult to exit because to take over sipla will cost nearly 15 billion dollars the promoters have 33 percent stake they are asking for a fancy valuation market is already trading above that fancy valuation if you buy it at that price you have to put another 26 percent the you have bought 33 percent of the company correct and then you have to offer other small investors to buy that car at the same price everybody will there you have to buy 26 percent of the company at the same price so this may be as good as between 12 and 15 billion dollars now in the case of vip if you buy the promoter at 50 percent you have to put in another 26 percent you have to buy yes and that takes this stake to 76 percent and then sell one percent more to bring back it to at 75 percent so a private equity company has to take it private has to, VIP to, private. has to take VIP private because 50 plus 12, 26 is 76. Minimum shareholding is 75. So these guys are asking for fancy valuation. Also, like Zerada has been saying, a lot of promoters have been selling stock. The promoters are insiders. If they know the time to sell, then you cannot be the one to be buying. Then they are making a fool out of you. The FIAs have continuously been selling. The FIAs took it from 185 to 2200 and they have bought it back to 19500 as we speak so foreign money is not coming to india also it has become extremely difficult to do especially for small and not for simpler but for small and medium enterprise it becomes extremely to do hard to do business in india in the current environment so that is also another reason promoters want to exit in case of sipla the founder's son is 87 years old his son and daughter are not interested in running sipla the way it should be run and therefore they are looking at exit the same May reason why Bisleri was looking at exit, and then the daughter decided to no, 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 I'll run the company. So, there is a question of the next generation not wanting to do the same kind of hard work that the previous generation put. Sure. Also, what I'm trying to say is valuations have become very frothy. Unless you are going to get value, there is no point in looking at these stocks. There are pockets of value in the market. It's up to you to find them. VIP at 58 times earnings with 50, one is 2.5 debt. That is 50% of its equity as debt does not represent value. Correct. Sipla at fancy price is already one of the top five companies in India. So you, you, there is no way, very little juice left for, left for Blackstone or somebody to buy this company and increase valuation further. So Torrent, which is trying to grow in size, wants to do a deal to buy Sipla. Like Tech Mahindra bought Satyam for a song because the company had got into serious trouble. Supply is not in trouble. So I do not know how supply is going to be end, but there is a lot of talk about it. VIP will also go through struggle because nobody will want to spend 9,000 crores in buying a luggage maker. And not only that, make an open offer again. Correct. I have to buy 50% of the company and then I have to make an open offer for 25%. That means if it is 51%, because I didn't check exactly. Suppose the promoters want 51%. 51 plus 25 is 76. That means you are violating the norms. Yes. So you will have to go take the company. And private. even if it is marginally percentage wise, you are still below the 75. You are above it's still 75. a lot of money. And even if it's marginally less, you are above For the business, that. which has even the promoters don't seem to be thinking there's yeah. going forward, there's going to be such a. Immediately, there's not going to be much value. Yes. And I'm sure the next generation in the VIP controlling entity is also not very keen on running this business. They rather cash out. They rather cash out. In Cupid, there was only one daughter who was not interested in the business. The promoters moved to US, they have cashed out. Yes. So this is a season where prices are fancy and clients would like to cash out. Correct. The promoters, sorry, see prices are frothy, promoters would like to cash out.
So you should not become the fall guy. In case of JSW Infrastructure, India's second largest port company, it is listed with a bank and there was a lot of oversubscription in IPO. A lot of retail investors have subscribed. But you have to understand the underlying risk. More than 50% of business for JSW Infrastructure comes from JSW Steel. So basically you have funded the promoter money so that he can bring down his debt in the company. Not only in JSW Infrastructure, also in JSW Steel, which is highly over leveraged. So you should be, if there is a problem at JSW Steel, you will have JSW infrastructure catching cold. It's a case of promoter trying to reduce his stake indirectly and trying to lighten his debt. So promoters of all hues are selling. JSW did a sale. Similarly was uh, the other uh, company Cupid sold out and Sipla and VIP are trying to sell. Thank you for watching Paisa Bolta Hai. If you like this video, please like this video. Our channel ko subscribe and the bell notification. If you have done this आप इस वीडियो को अपने दोस्त और दुस्तेदार के पास भेजें और उनको देखने के लिए आग्रह करें धन्यवाद नमस्कार जय हिंद